This video is going to be about the parts of a photosystem. So when we're looking at photosynthesis, the photosystems are really where we capture all the energy that we're going to need to be able to make glucose. And so there's two photosystems involved in this process, uh, and they're pretty similar except there's just one small difference. Um, so we'll start with photosystem two. So photosystem two is first in this pathway. So you can see that it's divided into two main parts. So out here on the outside, is going to be our light harvesting complex. And so in the light harvesting complex is where we're going to have all of our chlorophyll molecules. Because these molecules will be able to capture photons from the sun and excite their electrons. And then as those electrons fall back down, they'll pass that photon on to the next chlorophyll molecule. And so where the electrons really get excited um, and go on to photosystem one is in this area right here called the reaction center complex. So in the reaction center complex, we have two components really. So this box up here is going to be our primary electron acceptor. So the job of the primary electron acceptor is to um, accept all of the excited electrons from these two molecules right here. So these two molecules are molecules of chlorophyll A, which is a type of chlorophyll. And then um, what sets photosystem two apart from photosystem one is what wavelength these two molecules absorb. So in photosystem two, these are P680. Um, chlorophyll molecules because they absorb light at a wavelength of about 680 nanometers. Whereas in photosystem one, they're still chlorophyll A molecules, but they're P700. So they absorb light at a wavelength of about 700 nanometers. So just to review, photosystems have two main compartments, the light harvesting complex and the primary reaction, uh, or in the reaction center complex. Uh, so in the light harvesting complex is where they capture all that energy and then they pass it on to the reaction center to actually excite these electrons and then give them to the primary electron acceptor and from there they can move on to the next photosystem. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in these videos will be true regardless of what biology course you're taking. However, the material we covered in this video is specifically referencing material covered in Campbell Biology's 11th edition. Remember that if you are an enrolled Baylor student, we do offer free tutoring on the first floor of the Sid Richardson building, and you can schedule a free 30-minute appointment to have one-on-one -on -one tutoring online, or you can stop by during any of our business hours. For more information about the services we provide, you can go to our website at www.baylor.edu tutoring. Thank you.